What's up guys, back here with another video, and it looks like we have a set match for the interim uh, UFC Bantamweight title with Aljamain Sterling being out of competition due to a lingering injury with his neck. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's going to be Corey Sanhagen um, and Pyotr Yarn fighting for the interim uh, Bantamweight title until Aljamain is able to compete. If you're new, welcome, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell to get all notifications, and uh, let's go right to it. So now we have Pyotr Jan versus Corey Sanhagen for the uh, bantamweight title. You know, Aljamain's out due to ligament injury. He can't get um, uh, clearance on medically or whatnot. So now we have Sanhagen, which, you know, even though he lost against uh, TJ Dillashaw, but he had a great performance against him. Uh, I think this, this match is going to be... A really good match. I cannot wait to see who will win out of this fight. I think, um, again, purely on his his kickboxing. You know, he got good wrestling, good takedowns, as we've seen against um Aljamain Sterling. Uh, but I don't, I don't think I don't really see this fight playing out too much on the ground. Uh, San Hagen has nasty knees that he likes to jump for. You know, landing them to the head. Purely on is a little shorter than he is. So I, I think Sanhagen is going to be pushing the pace and the pressure. You know, uh, Sanhagen has a lot to, uh, to prove for himself in this fight. You know, even though he lost, you know, now he's going to end a title fight. You know, I thought it would be raw fun, but I, I guess I was wrong on that one. Corey Sanhagen is... But, I mean, Corey Sanhagen alone, is it's a great fight. You know, if TJ Dillashaw wasn't injured with his knee, uh, I think he would have had the title shot. But with him being injured... Uh, I think for Rob Font, I think he's going to be fighting Jose Aldo sometime in December. I believe they, they're trying to set it up. That, that alone would be a great fight. Um, so, yeah. I think Piotr, for Piotr Young, he just needs to be first and just be mindful of the flying knees that uh, Sanhagen likes to throw, as we've seen against Frankie Yeager. He, he, man, I thought Frankie Yeager was dead, man. I've never seen Frankie Yeager get knocked out as bad as that or ever really knocked out too bad. You know, that flying knee is vicious. Uh, he also threw it against um, TJ Dillashaw. You know, Sanhagen, Sanhagen had a really good performance. You know, he just had a hard time with the wrestling of TJ Dillashaw. And, you know, and TJ's elusiveness when he's, you know, striking or whatnot. You know, um, for this fight, though, I, I think Sanhagen can come up with the with the upset victory over uh, Piotr Jan. Um, Sanhagen, Sanhagen is longer. Uh, I think um, he's going to use his reach as he always does when he fights. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting fight. If nobody gets knocked out, it's going to be by decision. You know, I, I think, um, again, um, Jan just has to get, you know, an un uh, understanding of Sanhagen's reach and what he throws. He's just got to be careful if he's trying to go for a takedown to all those knees because Sanhagen will throw them. You know, I think uh, for Jan, he just needs to stay close, just mindful of the knees. Um, keep the pressure on Sanhagen. Just be careful again with the flying knees. You know, I think that's going to be a big weapon for Sanhagen. You know, do it against TJ Dillashaw and it messed him up. You know, his face was all battered up and bruised. You know, I think um, for Sanhagen, he just needs to, like I said, just put the pressure, use his reach, and it will be a good night for him. You know, it's going to be a great fight. I can't wait to watch this fight. I hope you guys watch it. It's on ESPN+. Plus. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.